Hey, this is Nick and welcome to Borsalino Carpentry. So today's video, I'm going to be working on these steps here. Um, I already started these before I started a YouTube channel. This is actually on my own house. So I started this and then had to go back to work and didn't have time to finish. So I'm going to try to get these finished here in the next couple days. Um, but so I got the, the hard ones done, which involves mitering the corners and um, doing all the, the hard stuff. Uh, I wish I had had that on video, but fortunately I don't. So this is going to be the first thing I'm going to do today is put on this riser and the next tread. So to do that, I'm going to use a bevel square here, which is just a square that you can change the angle of. And I'm going to get that right in the corner and that'll give me the angle. And I've got a board here that's rough cut. So it's a little long and I'm just going to set that on there and make a mark. Now I'm just going to cut that on the um, chop saw and then I'll pull a number for the length and do the same thing on the other side with the bevel square, mark this end and cut that and put it in. So I've got this first one here cut and what I do is I just slide it in there and push it tight against the back and that'll show me if it's off at all and you know this might have a little warp to it so um, I can just rescribe it if I want to get crazy with it. Now it's also going to get caulked in there so if it's not perfect uh, it will get filled um, but I'm going to cut it anyway just to show you. All right, so you can see that's a little better it's actually a little open there a little open there so this board's got a little whoop to it so that'll all get taken care of. Um, now the height of this I just cut it sits on top of the right on top of the tread and then is flush with the next one. Now what I'm using for flooring is engineered hardwood, which is a plywood base with a veneer of wood on top. So to do that, I had to build these steps out of um, plywood. There's framing in between and there's a, uh, a stringer in the middle. So this is all solid. Everything's all glued, screwed and nailed together. So it's not going anywhere. Um, so now that that's cut, this is ripped to the, to the height of that. Um, and we're going to cut the other side. So you can see I've got it long right now. So what I'm going to do is just get my beveled angle here. And I'm going to transfer that onto the board. And what I'm going to do is pull a number at the bottom and to get that number you kind of have to push the tape into the corner and I generally just add a little bit make it a little long and then uh, trim a little bit off until it fits in good so I'm gonna go with 35 and three quarters which will be a little long and I just mark that on the bottom because remember this thing's tapered uh, so wherever you pull your number is where you have to mark it 35 and three quarters and I'll use that bevel square there. So I'll just check this side. Oh yeah, so this step must have some sort of a wonk to it. So I'm gonna do what I did on the other side and just scribe that, recut it and try it again. Okay, it looks pretty good. And like I said, this is gonna get cocked. So if there's any space at all, it'll get filled in. And when I install it, I'm just gonna hit it so it's down as tight as I can get it to the tread. And then um, cut the nosing and keep going. So to do this, just get my hammer thing. So for this, I just want to make sure I'm down all the way. Taps. Same thing over here. Make sure I'm tight. And that's it. The nosing I'm using is uh, 
just a piece and then the flooring goes the rest of the way. This is three and an eighth and it's the same width as the flooring and it has a groove in it. So a piece of flooring with the tongue snaps right into it. And so it basically works out where it's one of these eight inch boards plus the nosing and I have to cut a little bit off of it. So I just have to do the same thing with the bevel square and get the angle that I got to cut on the nosing on both sides, mark it, cut it and stick that in. All right, that fits pretty good. And then like I said, that's gonna go in, but it's a little tight, so I gotta cut, um, cut one for there. And I'll do the same thing with my bevel square. I'll get both angles and the length, cut that, and then uh, pop that in. So I'm gonna take the angle off of this nosing here, make sure that I'm tight all the way up against it, set the angle, tighten that down and then transfer it to this board. Again, make sure I'm tight. Line up my uh, bevel square in the corner, tighten that down. Pull a number in the front. So I'm going to dry fit this one. I also did rip it, so uh, I took about an eighth of an inch off just to make it so it'll be able to clear in the back. It's a little tight, but it fit right in. And that fit. And I'm tight here. I got a little gap right here, so I'm just going to stick my bar in here. Pry that out. I'm actually going to glue these down and nail them just to give them extra support because you walk on them all the time and I don't want them to squeak. Um, so that's next. So I'm using engineered wood flooring adhesive, putting it on with a uh, medium sized trowel here. I'm going to get it all coated and then I have an engineered wood adhesive trowel, which will give it the correct size uh, notch or whatever. Um, and I don't really know if it matters which direction you go. You just want to make sure that it's on there really good. And this stuff starts to set up really quickly. So I've got a bucket of water and a sponge. This is water soluble. So um, I do that just to make sure none squeezes out under the tongue. And so I'm going to cover that back up and just drop this in my bucket of water. I'm ready to set these. Stick that one in first. over there and one thing I've been doing too this is probably wicked overkill but I've just been running a bead of glue in the groove just so that these become one piece okay. and uh, take a scrap piece of wood and a hammer and just to get any air bubbles out and get this thing really down there and then to nail it off, this has a, it's tight, inch and an eighth overhang, and there's a three quarter inch board. So I wanna come in inch and an eighth plus three eighths, which is half of that board, which puts me right at inch and a half. And what I'm gonna do is pop one nail. Same thing on the other side. 
make sure you're in tight. And got my little flat pry bar here. Just pry this out, make sure that I'm tight to that nosing. Got a little glue squirting out there. That's a good thing. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to make sure I'm tight still. Pop the back down. And then uh, I'm going right in the middle. So it's just around 36, so 18 inches is the middle. And I'm going to put there. And then on this nosing, I'm going to put a second nail because I want to make sure this is really attached. So I'm going to put a second nail and then do the same thing here. My inch and a half again. There. I guess that's it. I'm going to get a little uh, wet paper towel and wipe this down um, because tight bond glue is uh, water clean up but then when it's dry it's waterproof got a little wet paper towel okie doke that's it on to the next one
All right, so I'm set up here. Um, this landing has a uh, 45 degree angle on it. Um, so what I'm gonna do, this flooring has uh, three different sizes. There's eight inch, six inch, and four inch. So I laid it out a bunch of different ways and figured out which way I wanted to do this. The nosing's gonna go on and it's gonna go up against here. And then the flooring is gonna run um, to the wall and then the baseboard will sit on top to cover that. So for now, uh, I just needed to figure out what I was gonna do. So I've got this all laid out and I'm just gonna mark where they are. So I've got an eight, six, four, eight, six, and that last piece is an eight. I'm gonna do the same thing I did on all the other ones, run my nosing right there, and then I'll start figuring out the angles. So to do this one, I've got the same bevel square, but there's no wood here to put it on. So this thing actually is pretty cool. I had it like this before, but I can slide it back like that. So I can put it on here because the nosing sticks out this way, but the wood also goes back that way. So that'll give me a good angle there. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. And my next one, my, here's gonna be an eight inch. And so I'm gonna take the full width here it's 37 and 5 eighths and this flooring needs about the thickness of the flooring um, is what it recommends so half inch so basically if it's 37 and 5 eighths i'm going to take a whole inch off uh, i'm actually going to go a little bit less than that i'm going to go um, 36 and 7 eighths for my length so to get this angle i'm just going to make a mark on the wall um, that's the, the space I need, but I'm actually going to go a little bit less than that. And my first one's going to be an eight inch board. So I stick that in here and if I line it up with that mark, I need to be right around there. Now I've got, uh, six and seven sixteenths. I, I need to leave a space over here, three eighths of an inch. So that leaves me six and a sixteenth. So if I take my board, which is gonna go in there, and I pull off six and one sixteenth, right there, that should be my angle. And to get my angle, if I put this back in here, and I use my square, or my bevel square, line that up, there's the angle. Here's my mark here, line that up. Now, this is the tongue, so the angle is going to come off this way, but I'm actually marking it this direction. Um, it's the same angle either way. Okay, so that's going to be it. And if I draw that the rest of the way, okay, so let's see if this fits. That looks pretty good. And so um, it's gonna have a one by six on this for baseboard. So I've just got a piece of one by just to make sure everything's gonna cover everywhere. And it is, and I've got a gap. So that's good. So that's my first piece. All right. And I've still got this angle set up on the chop saw. So now I just need to measure and cut the next one and we'll just work my way right down. So what I'm going to do is uh, not what I would normally do, but um, normally you would, on a floor, you nail in through the tongue, but I'm starting here with this. So I'm going to 
I'm gonna glue it just like I do the other ones to keep this from squeaking. So I'm gonna glue it and nail in and, and I'm just gonna nail on the ends uh, that's gonna get covered by trim. So I'm gonna nail in as far out as I can and that'll hold it down. And then I'll put a couple face nails in. And then also what I'm gonna do when it's all done is I'm gonna fill all these holes with a putty that matches the stain color. So you won't really see them. Okay, so for this next one, um, the sideboard's gonna come down on top. So I just need to get this angle here. <laughs> to this point here, it's gonna carry straight through. So I'm just gonna take this angle back a ways and that's gonna connect here. Um, so I'm gonna come in inch and a half, a little heavy. So that's gonna be the point. And then it's gonna return back against the wall that way. Okay, so I'm gonna make that angle on it and that'll stick right in there. And this is just gonna be a template cut for the actual piece. The other side. This dimension should be the same as that dimension, so I should be able to pull, if I put that like that, that should be about my mark, you know what I mean? Boom, like that, same thing. And then this will get squared off. If that doesn't need to be tight, it can be a little bit off because baseboard's gonna hit there. So, I'll take uh, maybe like a quarter inch off that way. Just like that. All right, well, thanks for watching. I think I'm gonna cut the video here. This is gonna be a two part for the stairs. Um, so the first part I did up to the landing with the angle, and then the second part, I'll start with the angle and work my way the rest of the way up. So if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up, please subscribe. Ring the little bell so you can get a notification. Uh, you can also check out my other links below. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.